Hi guys, today I want to talk about the mystery of the batteries. <laughs> yeah, it's a quite a mystery because uh, all different company making the batteries, they make really confused to the customer. Like a uh, like this is a you know green work 80 volt battery. They also have a green work 82 volt battery. They call it a commercial line. But actually, the inside is exactly the same. So this is a this is a 80 volt. This is the inside. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's 80 volt or 82 volt. The inside is the same. You know, that's how the company to confuse you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just just quick example. Okay, when we talk about the battery, we we talk about the voltage and the current okay so the 80 volt is a voltage it's pretty higher voltage okay sometimes you need a higher voltage and sometimes you need a higher current but most time you probably need both <laughs> yeah 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 you, you're gonna need both so uh, by the voltage the 80 volt battery, they are mar marking about it's uh, it's same thing like a, a 72 volt battery, like a, if you build your e bike, you want to do a 72 volt system, you buy the 72 volt batteries, they are the same. So uh, the, it's all has uh, 20 cells inside. So when 20 cells zero link together it's uh, 72 volt by the common working voltage so you see the battery there is more clear you see the battery here the mark they are there the mark zero this way probably so the mark the voltage is 3.6 volt each battery each cell so when 3.6 volt multiplied by 20 it's a 72 volt so that's normal we we consider the battery voltage R they mark like a 80 volt or 82 volt what happened is uh, they try to mark when you fully charge your battery the voltage so they try to use the fully charged voltage to mark their batteries. That's why you can you can see they can mark any voltage they want. I mean <laughs> there's no rules, okay? It's the same thing the market like a Milwaukee 18 volt and uh, the volt 20 volt and there's so many things 18 volt 20 volt is exactly the same battery inside it's a five cells inside exactly the same okay <laughs> it just you know it's just commercial you know the business try to do something different than others it's just commercial um, so we usually so I think the better way you just count on the sales like uh, you know if you play like a drone or any RC toys RC ball RC car so we talk about the battery is like a 3S battery 4S battery which means how many sales serial link together okay this is a really clear way to actually talk about the battery so if I call this battery, I will call this is a 20 cell battery, the 20 S battery. That's very clear. They have 20 cells. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of big mystery. You know, the company try to confuse you. Okay. Uh, another thing is, uh, you know, we talk about this voltage. So what the voltage do is, uh, you know, when you when you talk about to to your product, the voltage give more speed. So when the voltage drive the motor, the motor drive fast. Okay, 
and the current current is like your string. So if you uh, ride the e-bike, you want to climb in hill. I mean, you need a string, right? So the current gave the motor string, but not the speed. The, the voltage gave motor speed, but not the string. Okay. Uh, if you use uh, some, uh, you know, higher voltage, if you use 80 volt, this battery for your e-bike, you can have very, very fast speed, but it doesn't mean you can climb in hill better than, you know, uh, 48 volt battery, uh, uh, 36 volt battery, it doesn't matter. So you want to climb in hill, you need a current, you need that string, the current gives the motor string, okay? And uh, each cell, so each of the cell uh, normally can give maximum 20 amp discharge. Maximum the, the current they can provide is around 20 amp. Um, since uh, this, uh, this have a uh, two cell parallel together, so this is a 4 amp power batteries. So the basically is 2 amp power battery is like this half size, a little bit bigger than the half size. So that has one side of uh, 20 cell serial link together. And this is a 4 amp power. So this battery uh, totally have 40 cells. So 40 cells. Okay. They have a 20 cells serial link together and, uh, and, uh, and then parallel link two of this size, 20 cells, uh, which, uh, which totally is uh, 40 cells. Uh, I, I probably can open some place you can see. Uh, yeah, here is probably better clear to see. You can see here, you see the color is different. So this is actually a positive side and this is a negative side. You can see the four cells actually all linked. When the two positive together, which means these two cells are parallel linked. And then the these two negative together, which means these two cells are parallel linked. And then they are zero linked together like this. So the power will go this way, this way, this way, this way, and to another side as well. So when they uh, uh, when they serial link to either the cells, you got a you know higher the the wattage. When they parallel link together the cells, you got a higher current. Okay, that's why you know when I when 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 I build the electric power motor. Uh, I use this battery, I parallel several of this battery to get enough current. You know, otherwise, you know, if it's just one battery, you just don't have enough current. They have enough voltage, but don't have enough current, you know. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, it's probably more clear to see how the Build a, how they build a you know battery pack. This is very clear to see. You know, um, you see the color different because this is a this is a negative side and this is a positive side. So they have so many cells parallel together. So this is a 4S battery, so you can, so this is a positive size and goes to the uh, negative size and goes to another side and come back. So this is a 4 cells battery, it's a 4S battery, but they parallel so many cells together to give a lot of big current, okay. Uh, you can see the connector so this is a XT90 connector it's a very big connector okay uh, you can just see the wire is really big you know so that can give you big current okay 
uh, yeah, that's the difference. So another uh, mystery of the battery is uh, it's a BMS board. So this is called a BMS board. Okay, um, you know, it's the same thing over here. I push the button. Okay, uh, this is a BMS board, which which is a, a battery balance system. BMS, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the mystery about this? It's uh, uh, if so. The, basically, the BMS board is you know protect your batteries. It's it's very good. It's very good things to have on your battery pack to protect your batteries. Uh, but the mystery for this is uh, if you want to have a big current, uh, you know, you know, you want to this board to handle. You know the wire like this big. They think about this board have to build really strong, right? So normally, normally it's a BS B, BMS board will limit the current out because it's too small. It just can't cannot really handle that big current. You know. So if you don't pay much attention on this uh, battery pack. Uh, they may say, uh, I have a, uh, you know, if you build your e bag you want a 72 volt battery pack. You know, they have said, uh, I have 20 amp hour uh, battery pack with 40 amp hour battery pack. You think about this, this is really big, right? <laughs> uh, you can really, you know, drive your bag, you know, so fast, it's so powerful. Uh, y you have to ask you have to ask what's the what's the limit of the BMS board they actually put in there. Most time the BMS board will limit it, the current out. If you think about it like this there have there are so many cells let me count one two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16. So these have 16 cells parallel together. So each cell, if it's 20 amp hour, they can maximum provide you uh, almost 300 amp current. Okay? And uh, if you are, uh, I mean, <laughs> think of the BMS for you, you have little BMS for like this. It just no way to handle, <laughs> you know, 300 amp come out with that board, you know. So, yeah, that that that's very common when you buy the bigger, uh, you know, battery pack. You think that's really powerful. The first thing you're gonna ask is that's a BMS board. Does it actually provide that current out? Usually, if that BMS BMS board can handle that current. That much current usually is so expensive, you know. You can see it's it definitely will be expensive, <laughs> okay. So, so come out with this uh, battery pack. It's uh, uh, I think it's it's not really uh, necessary to have to to have use the BMS board. Uh, of course, it's better to have them, but. Uh, you truly you think about it, it's not really necessary uh, the really thing is you want to balance charge your battery pack so think about if you are uh, just just charge the battery through here let me you put a higher voltage to charge the battery pack so each cell of the battery uh, it the, the, the charging rate may be a slightly different. You know, some cell can take the power in quicker, some cell can take power in slower, just a tiny a little bit. But uh, even just a tiny little bit uh, without balanced charge, uh, which means some cell is overcharged and some cell is undercharged. You know, <laughs> when you fu fully charge your battery without balanced charge, 
it's more likely will happen like that. You know, some cell is overcharged and some cell is undercharged. By the time it's always like that, then then you you better pack it's it, it will be destroyed. You know, so that's why the 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 balance charge is super important. And the most time the BS BMS board is actually just handles the balance charge. You know, some some people doing the trick is, uh, you know, they build a bigger uh, battery pack and they know the BMS board cannot really handle that current. So they actually uh, escape the BMS board, uh, you know, for, for, for the loading part, for discharge part. So when they discharge, they just link directly to the, to the to the battery, so so it is right like like right here. So when they discharge, it's just directly link to this port. When they charging, then go through the BMS port. Okay, so they just let just just use the BMS board to to handle the charging part. That's why I'm talking about. So most time the you don't. It's not really necessary to have the BMS board. The necessary thing is you just pull out the charging lead, you know. So this is a charging lead. When you use this charging lead to the balance charge, so they charge each cells, okay? So they charge, so this all parallel together, we consider like a one unit, one cell. So they charge each of them uh, to make it balance charged. Okay, so each of this union will charge to the top points. So none of them can be overcharged or undercharged. So that's very important um, for your battery pipe. So uh, yeah, if you just make a you know charge lead uh, come out and then use use any uh, uh, balance charger to charge the battery i think it's really uh, not necessary to uh, to put a bms board on, on your battery pack um, but of course th when you use a bms board you have more protections um, but it just uh, it just the fact you can think about. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's pretty much today's topic. So when you think about to get the battery, so you not only think about the wattage and also think about the current, because usually they only mark they only mark the wattage. You know, they don't mark the current they gave you okay so um, when they mark uh, like a 80 volt 2 amp hour 2 amp hour is the capacity is not really you know the current it doesn't mean have 2 amp current come out you know so they don't really mark the current you have to think about your project you, if you want to uh, build an e-bag not only have high speed but also have a, a really uh, a strong power to climbing hill. You have to think about you know voltage and the current. So yeah, for any kind of bigger project, you have to think both. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any uh, any question? Just leave me a comment below. I will get back to you. Thank you. We'll see you next time.